News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Well, the search continues today for a baby born just over two weeks ago in Cameron County. Multiple agencies are now joining in the search for baby Malachi. Now, these are images of a drone search that started yesterday. Authorities tell us that they may be expanding their search range. Right now, both parents, Zachary De La Rosa and Suzanne Pierce, are in jail on charges of injury to a child. And the murder trial for Raul Lopez will resume today. The psychiatrist who treated Lopez while he was in jail will take the stand again today. She spoke yesterday, but not in front of a jury. A comment that she made yesterday regarding her notes prompted the defense to ask the judge to throw out her testimony because they say it's evidence they didn't have access to. The judge denied that request and gave the defense until today to review those notes. And a big announcement for high school students in McAllen and Edinburgh. The school districts are partnering up with UTRGV to build a collegiate academy. The plan is for these schools to open in fall 2023. Students will be able to work toward a bachelor's degree while finishing high school. These college credits will be free and programs include health science, computer science, engineering and education. And turning now to weather, expect another warm and breezy afternoon. A red flag warning will be in effect later today. Your highs will be in the 80s. That's your News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.